Are you looking to find out more about this Danner boot? In this video, I'm going to tell you how it fits, how to treat it, and the best way to shop, especially if you're trying to shop online. So thanks for joining me. You can always hit the subscribe, hit the like button, and watch the rest of my series on the Danner shoe reviews to get all the good Danner goodness. Thanks for joining me. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Aloha from Maui, Hawaii. I am Terry Edmonds. Yay. We are live on Amazon together. This is awesome. I know that everybody's ordering online these days. The ways you can reach me is through my website, terryedmonds.com. Also, I have this awesome Amazon live uh, channel that I air every Thursday and Friday at nine o'clock Hawaii Standard Time. And on my Amazon, on my website, terryedmonds.com, there's the Amazon link right on the front. You can click it and it's gonna take you to my Amazon shopping cart. You can buy all of the supplies that I offer, everything from repairing shoes also to Danner boots. So that's pretty exciting. Amazon's offering so many things. And you can also see my videos. So if I mention something here, for instance, I'm gonna be talking about cleaning your boots and caring for them. All of these supplies are on previous videos, so feel free to search them out. For but for today, it's just a boot review. I really wanna be able to help you when you're trying to shop from home. Uh, first, we're gonna start with my uh, very, very uh, favorite. It's one of the new ones that Danner has brought in for the 2020, and it's the Steel Yard. And this is our Steel Yard. It's a lightweight boot, you know, it's got a uh, heel here, so it's great for ladders. Um, they also offer this with a leather uh, cover for the laces for you guys who are, you know, using all of your, um, you know what they're called, that cause sparks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, it's really, really great. So this boot comes in the six inch. It also comes in the eight inch. This is the six inch right here. And the eight inch would be about this tall. I don't have it because I offer a bunch of different um, Danners in the eight inch. Um, so uh, this is really great. It also comes in a Wellington and I will, a Wellington means it's a pull on. And uh, I'm definitely carrying this Wellington. It's so awesome. I'm going to be talking more about the Wellingtons. I'll be giving you options. I carry uh, one, two, three, four, five choices. I think all of the Danner Wellingtons are great. So anyway, look at that. That's so nice. And uh, But we're not going to cover that so much today. In my opinion on the uh, steel yard is that it tends to run true to size. So if, and Danner does too. So if you are a 12, it, it's gonna be a 12. <clears throat> Lengthwise, I think Danner does a really awesome job. I think on a scale of one to five, five being the widest, this is a really good one. This is probably four. So I think if you've got, you know, a, a really wide foot, which we do out here in Hawaii, we have the Tongans, the Fijians, the Samoans, the, <laughs> The mainlanders, I've got wide feet, so uh, they're really great about that. Uh, the other nice thing, um, this one I happen to bring in without the safety toe, but it comes with the safety toe. And um, I don't know, I thought I'd try it because I offer so many with the safety toe. I thought I'd give my clients a little different option because it's kind of a lightweight boot. Uh, this boot right here, as I have it, without the safety toe is 64 ounces. So that's pretty nice. Um, it's got a great tread. It's not too high, uh, but this one is oil and slip resistant. So also let's talk about, it's a durable full grain. It doesn't have very much um, material on it. I happen to pick the waterproof, but it comes in uh, with or without waterproof. So um, it also comes with or without the safety uh, toe. And it's a, it's a steel toe. And it also comes with the uh, metatarsal support. So there are some uh, uh, municipalities that require that you have that extra layer. And this is offered in it. 
uh, although they didn't make it in the waterproof in, in that uh, category. But I buy everything waterproof. You know, heck, if it rains or if you want to wash off your boots and stuff, it's just, it's easier and it's not ugh, that much hotter. I think people are concerned that it's going to heat their feet. So, um, yeah, so that's a really great boot. Um, I'm going to read some more about it. So this is a breathable mesh lining in all of them or in three of the styles. Uh, it has waterproof protection. It offers a, uh, their comfort system uh, platform. It has a steel shank, that's really important. Some guys really need that if you're, uh, you know, I get guys that come in from the electric company that are climbing the poles and they need it. So this is really nice and uh, they don't offer this in every one of their boots, but it does come in this one. And this is their D, uh, Danner comfort support system. It's nice, it gives you extra cushion around the heel. But that reminds me, um, you know, they make this boot to fit everybody. And the way you can get that boot to fit extra great for you is to put your own orthotic inside it. Something with some arch support. I'm going to grab one to show you. So I carry this brand called Power Step, and I have them in my shoes that I'm wearing right now. I have them in my running shoes. And, um, you know, they uh, give you a little bit of arch support and they don't cost too much. They're, you know, they range in prices, of course, depending when you're watching this video in case you're seeing it on the replay. Um, but I carry them. I think they're best for the price. They hold their shape. The arch stays there. So I always recommend to a client, you know, if you are going to be wearing this every day, you're that guy that you buy this one boot and you wear it every single day, then I would add an orthotic and it's the Power Step Orthotics and they offer them in sizes 10, 10 half in one size. So if you were a 10 half, you would order the 10, 10 half. Okay. So those are really great. And uh, then they also, like I say, they meet all of the requirements. Um, it has a oil and slip resistant outsole. Um, and it also has, it's called the uh, Danner Steel Yard Outsole, and it's meant specifically for this, for giving you uh, traction when you're up climbing around and, you know, working on all those metal surfaces. So there we have it. We have the Danner Steel Yard. I'll give you a close up picture of it. There we go. Very nice. It's nice. It's got a great, uh, great hardware in it that lie really flush against the boot. Um, I always like the laces that I'm gonna get in more in view for you guys here. Like I said, it's hard on these uh, Amazon cameras. So let's talk a little bit more about um, how I would care for this boot. It is all full grain leather. Um, I would clean it if, if you're that into it. I mean, some guys just beat the heck out of their boots and go to work, go to work, go to work. Cool. For that guy, I have a suggestion. And even if it has got, you know, if you are a contractor, you're working with drywall or cement and you've got that dust on your shoe, that's the first thing that eats away at the leather. So I say um, for a real easy solution for you is to uh, get the Neats foot oil. Okay, I get, I get this in the gallon. And um, cause I have a, I'm a shoe repair. I'm Maui Hawaii's only shoe repair. So I get the Neats foot oil and I put it into a, a jar or a Tupperware dish, doesn't matter. I dedicate one paintbrush to it and then I just slather it on. Cover the laces, cover the threads. It keeps those, especially if you work in a steel yard and, uh, oh gosh, what is that name is slipping me? <laughs> Anyway, uh, sparks, you got sparks. It dries out the uh, threads and believe it or not, even with that drywall and stuff, it dries out the threads. So if you're bending down a lot, you wanna be sure to really cover it with some oil. I had, I did a Amazon video about how to care for your boots. So, and if it's not there, you'll find it on my YouTube channel, Terry Edmonds. And, uh, so these are great, nice laces. It's got great padding inside. It's not too, um, it's not too stiff or too firm. That's that's always nice. So uh, that's the steel yard for you. Um, I'm going to just cover the supplies one more time um, to give you some options, and let's talk about some real basics again, just to, as an overall recap. Okay, and for those of you that are watching this on the replay. Uh, this is some good info. All right, 
Danner runs very true to size. If you are an 11, I think you can feel comfortable ordering an 11. If you're not quite sure, Danner, if you order from Danner or Amazon, they have a really great uh, return policy or exchange, which is super. Um, you can also uh, go into a shop like mine. I have If The Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii, where I specialize in great work boots. Look at all these work boots, it's awesome. And there you get customer service. Uh, you can really have somebody, you can try it on, see how it feels, and that's really great, and you support us. You also support me by shopping on my Amazon shopping cart. If you're watching this on YouTube in the replay, my Amazon shopping cart is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Terry Edmonds. <laughs> and there it's got all of my favorite products listed and it's really easy to find and it looks very much like this. It just scrolls and you've got all of my favorite picks right there and you support me by shopping there. Thank you, I really appreciate it. All right, I also have a website, terryedmonds.com, and you just go to the front page, click the Amazon button, it takes you to all of these supplies. So, as a recap, my very favorite Danner supplies. All right, it, no matter what kind of a leather you're working with, most of the Danner shoes can all be treated the same way. I have um, Neat's Foot Oil. Well, first you would clean the boot. If we're going from beginning to end, you can skip steps if you want, but my suggestions, clean your boot. Easy suede cleaner, Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. If you want to condition them, um, actually I should stop, let me go another way. When you first buy your boot, you can buy a Scotch Guard. This happens to be my favorite, it's Cadillac Shield. It uh, helps to protect, and it doesn't waterproof, but it helps to protect the leather. You can also buy something like a, a Danner Waterproof Boot Care for Nubuck suede and fabric. Uh, clean the item, apply this waterproofing spray, allow it to dry, and there you go. Uh, they also offer it with the dauber in instead of the spray. Uh, so that's protecting your shoe. <clears throat> then, um, let's say your boot's dirty, go ahead and clean it first with the Easy Suede Cleaner. Then you can choose. You can go an oil or you can go with a lotion. Uh, the lotion is my favorite, and this is the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion, and it's on my shopping cart, the Amazon shopping cart. There's also the Neats Foot Oil. Uh, Neats Foot Oil is not great for a place that has mold, so keep that in mind. If you do go this route, I suggest that you buy a, you know, or just get a, a recycled container and dedicate a brush to it so that when you come home at the end of the day or whenever you decide to do it, you can just slather it all over your boots and then walk away and not worry about it. That keeps them from drying out. If you are a shoe fan and you love your boots and you want to kind of take it, your treatment, your care for the boots to the next level, then I recommend investing in that next thing like the boot dressing. And I love Danner. I picked Danner. I actually sell in my store the Danners, but I also sell Lincoln and some other products. But I love the Danner because it's kind of a combination of a cream and a wax and it does the same trick and Danner made it. So if you're buying a Danner boot, Danner has really thought this out <laughs> and that's really great. So also some other really great things that Danner offers happens to be some great laces. So they do replacement laces. When you are going to buy laces, be sure to measure the lace. Don't take the word for it on the package because they don't always match measure your laces, and then order them. Also, you can indulge in some really, really comfortable socks. And that doesn't suck. These are awesome. They're kind of pricey, but I think if you're working in them every day, um, you know, spend a little bit of extra money on yourself. You're in these boots, typically for most people, all day, every day, and I can tell you that by adding these products, especially the orthotics, maybe a good pair of socks, you're gonna feel amazing. Amazing and it will happen right away. So you've got my word on that. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and I only say that from experience because I'm wearing their socks, I'm wearing the orthotics and my feet never hurt at the end of the day. And I'm a foot care professional. I've been in the business for so long and I've seen so many troubled feet that doing these little bit of things really do help in the end, cumulatively. So, we are done. 
Tomorrow we are going to be reviewing Danner hunting boots and I'm really excited because I own some myself and that's going to be a lot of fun. So you get to see some more uh, great boots and quality footwear. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning from Hawaii and coming from my little shop, If the Shoe Fits, Terry Edmonds. Aloha! Hi.